It's going to be an interesting one. I think we're Wolves prepped to be the team in the advantageous position here today. Two games played so far, 2-1. Easy six points on the board for them. Whereas WCS have played three. They played one more series compared to the Wolves and they've only won one. Lost two. Wolves already in a point advantage, even though they have a game in hand. So looking like the favorites on paper, but Wax in its early days is right at the beginning of the season. We know how well these teams can turn things around. And we saw some upsets last year, and I'm excited to see if we can see some upsets here today. It looks to be a lot of orange pressure right now. WCS trying to pin the blue team in their half. It's an opportunity though. Opening up for the team in blue. Decent save there from Big Grief Waxen. They, they're holding on steady for the first minute. And speaking of the Big Grief, this is a familiar name, Elliot. And like I said, WCS coming back with some players from the last season. A very nice attack and scoring Ooh. for Jed Wallace. The first on the board for Werewolves. Very nice action uh, the, to, to score the first, first of this series. Lovely stuff there to get the read off of the wall as well. It's not an easy shot and it wasn't an easy angle as well. Had to get that down and to the right to make sure he beat the near post there. But this is why these guys are 2-0 so far in their season. And very, very good pressure coming in for Werewolves too. A second goal goes in from Werewolves 2. Nice little passing play here, Waxen. Absolutely, very nice action. And this is the second goal scored by uh, Jed Wallace, who seems to be having a field day coming into this uh, this series on stream. We talked about the pressure they're gonna feel, but Jed Wallace does not feel any pressure. He is on fire today. I think Werewolves have this one in the bag. I don't mean to crush the spirits of WCS, but they are playing really well right now. Jed Wallace proving his value once again there as he defends the backboard clinically and just look at that it's just as simple as that right the backboard dangerous spot but Jeb Wallace takes it off it allows them to open up downfield and it eventually leads to a goal makes it three yeah, Jeb Wallace with two now looking for his hat trick here as he gets another great pinch clear downfield really really good work from him I think he's one to watch in this series hype is there anyone that you've got your eye on yeah, I mean, the whole team for Werewolves just seemed to be coordinating really well. The last time we were live, we saw a lot of good individual plays, but we didn't see much team coordination coming out from these teams. Uh, but I don't know what they've got going on in Bracket G, but these team plays are phenomenal. So many great passes and crosses, just creating so much space. Then we see Jed Wallace again, passing it to Aqua. It's a beautiful little tap into the corner, made to look easy, despite the clear complexity of the, of the uh, goal that's going on there. 4-0 is a very confident scoreline for these players on the blue team right now. Werewolves 2 makes you wonder what their first team's like, Hype. Absolutely, I was looking at the stats there actually. So the Werewolves 2 team, like you mentioned earlier, currently 100% wins, 2 games, 2 wins. And the, uh, the first team for Werewolves as well, 3 wins, 1 loss out of their 4 games. So it seems like we've got some really, really strong competition coming out of Wolverhampton this year. Um, and I'm excited to see what they bring. Almost certainly with the result in the bag here as we approach the final 60 seconds. But they are here to demonstrate to everyone else as well as WCS that this is not a team to be messed with. And Lime's going to be straight up for the follow and that's five. No, absolutely. This is looking absolutely finished. We're, we're just going to take the 5-0, it looks like. We did see a good shot coming out at the end there from WCS. But again, Jed was on the goal line. He was ready for it. Oh, and there's a sit. <laughs> Talking about Jed. Absolute star player. Gets his hat trick, Tofu. That 6-0 scoreline in game one. You love to see it, don't you? Jed's going to be very pleased. Three seconds left. He finds his third goal of the game. And I tell you what, Hype, if WCS don't do something soon in this series, it's going to be a 3-0 sweep in this best of five. I think that was such an offensive game for the Werewolves, uh, for the Wolverhampton side. Uh, we just saw so many shots on target and also so many goals going in, finishing with that 6-0 scoreline. Again, 
start of this game. Ball flying straight to the half of WCS. The Wolves are keeping up that offence that we saw in game one. But we are in the early stage of this game, we're only 20 seconds in. And as I speak, we see a little bit of ball control coming through for WCS. At the moment, it's, it's WCS They're coming forward. Big Griefs in the corner, just putting some pressure on. But the infamous Jed Wallace down the wing gets a flick into midfield and Aqua's up on it. Narrowly avoids the net. Big Grief with the pre-jump gets the first, but Lame is there to bag the goal and Wolves will not be stopped. Look at this replay here. We see three shots back to back from Wolves. First, just slightly too high going over the top left corner, but the team aren't going to let that miss. They're just going to keep following it up and it's this offence that we've been talking about from the Wolves. It's just so strong. Even with those good saves and good defensive manoeuvres, unless we see WCS really start pushing themselves, I think we might have a repeat of the first game. You have to respect that kind of level, that professionalism to look for his teammates. Ooh. I tell you what though, WCS back in it, drawing things even 90 seconds into game two. Beautiful plays there, especially to Big Grief there. We saw a really nice shot, didn't quite go in, but he manages to somehow find Hicks with the goal, uh, with the ball, and they tie it up one apiece. This is exactly what we needed to see, and hopefully this is going to give them a little confidence boost too. They know that they can make those offensive plays now. And just as I speak, Caster's Curse. <laughs> Tofu. You know what, it hurts, doesn't it? It hurts when you get the caster's cast and they were doing better, but look, just leaving their net open and you can't do that in front of predators like the wolves. They are just too savvy, they're too aware, and they're always ready to go for the jugular clinical. Two goals to one, and looks like it might be three oh. here as Lame finds his hat trick inside two minutes. You know, these guys really are playing so beautifully as a team. We said there's the star player Jed Wallace with his hat trick in game one, and now we've got uh, Lame coming in with game two straight off the bat with his own hat trick. We're seeing so many beautiful team plays, and it seems like all players on this Wolves side, really, really competent Rocket League players, really mechanically skilled as well. Um, so I think this is definitely a side to watch. Back Borden down, Jed's there, and it is under the crossbar for number four. Quickly retaken by the Wolves and into an open goal just wide. Tofu, what a great opportunity there. Oh, never mind, Aqua to finish it up. I was about to say a great opportunity missed, but Aqua somehow manages to find the angle there. On the far right side, tapping that ball in. And that's the, that's the whole point, right? You can't ever count them out. These Wolves are just devastating. Even when you think they've failed to take an opportunity, they're not done. They don't care what you think. They're going to put it in no matter what and almost find a sick here. Jed is going for something here. Looking to play it off of the ceiling. I don't know if it was to himself or Aqua, but Lane's going to clear up at midfield and Jed knew that wasn't quite it, but he didn't know how to turn it in from the front post. Awkward shot and it's awkward at the other end now. Double commit force defensively to turn that off of the crossbar and with 90 seconds left up by four Wolves feeling very very comfortable right here and that is quite the doink in off of the keeper. Yes this game WCS have found their first goal but the Wolves are in with another six goal game um, and we've seen another hat trick from a new player so yeah a really really dominant game so far. As we say it Big Grief finds a second. the scissor kick coming out from Big Grief and making his way downfield not going to quite be able to continue his dribble but I've really liked what we've seen from Big Grief in particular on WCS I don't think the scoreline quite reflects the effort we've seen particularly from him but it is what it is you know Rocket League is not a game of who plays better it's a game of who gets the the ball across the line more times and well Wolves unstoppable here in the first couple of games of this series A 
say, I really don't think there is a weak link in the Wolves team. They really operate as a wolf pack. They're really kind of all or nothing in it together. We saw the assist that time off Lame. And like I say, he's also been scoring every single game we've seen. So it just seems like a really strong team. I'd love to jump in and hear some of their team comms, kind of to see what's going on behind the scenes, because it does just look like they're really, really organized as we see Jed taking a fourth. Two you minutes know, gone, a... four goals up, a hype. It's not looking good for WCS. It's not. I, I, I hate to say it, it's not. You know, they've been playing their hearts out. They haven't given up and they've been defending to the best of their ability. But this Wolves side, yeah, they're ruthless. They're not going to let anything get in their way. We see a fifth goal there, about seven seconds apart from the fourth. And Aqua again manages to just find it past the two defenders who are there. easy to see why these guys are undefeated so far this season as they continue their undefeated run here with a 3-0 clean sweep against West College Scotland. Not the best day for WCS hype, but lessons to be learned without a doubt. Yeah, not the best day for WCS, but like we said, great sportsmanship. They didn't stop fighting and towards the end we did see some great uh, maneuvers coming through from them. On the other side though, on the Wolves, wow, what an incredible team and what incredible team synergy. Is there any doubt in anyone's mind that Jed Wallace is the MVP of that game? I mean, let's give a quick shout out to his teammates. I mean, fantastic performance from that entire team. Hype put it really well before when he said there are no weak links on that team. 100%. Couldn't agree more. It was a fantastic all-round effort. But Jed Wallace was the standout. He's definitely going to be the MVP for me.